Successful Virtual Learning Welcome to your virtual classroom. We want to make sure that you have every tool at your disposal to succeed with your courses. Using Canvas Most of your classes will have content on Canvas. Your instructor will communicate with you over email or on Canvas or on both. To access your Canvas course, sign in to my.calstatela.edu and click Canvas. If you have trouble logging in, contact ITS Help Desk Support at calstatela.edu forward slash ITS forward slash Help Desk. Navigating Canvas and learning your virtual classroom will require some exploration on your part to see where everything is kept. Each instructor will organize their class a little differently, so don't be shy to click around. On your dashboard, you will see all of your classes. If you do not see the course on your dashboard, make sure that you're officially enrolled through GET. If you are not enrolled, then send an email to enrollment services at pagestudents at calstatela.edu. If you are officially enrolled but still don't see the class, check with your instructor to make sure the course is published. To access the course content, click the class you would like to enter. Each class will be organized differently depending on your instructor's preferences. Make sure to check for introductory material and get to know your online classroom for each course. Read the syllabus carefully to know what to expect for the class. If anything is unclear or you have any questions, ask your instructor. Your instructor may use the announcement tool to send important notifications to you. Announcements will be available in the announcement section and depending on how your instructor organized your class, they might be on your homepage. With each announcement, you should get an email right away to your registered email. Make sure to read all the announcements right away because they are important information and they are usually time sensitive. If you can see the assignment section, be aware that this is not the only place where important class information and details may be stored. Each section you see in this menu will be important to check for updates to your class. Make sure you understand the assignments as soon as you see that they are posted. Don't wait until the last minute to turn assignments in. Most instructors will organize the course materials under the modules area or on the home page. If you have access to your course's module, make sure you click each thing that's listed, even if you don't know what it is. This way you can access all the different parts of your class. Your instructor has uploaded material that you will need, so don't skip over anything. If your class uses a discussion board, you will see it either in the discussion section or in the module section. Discussions may have multiple due dates, so make sure you click into them to read the complete instructions. Post earlier rather than later so a healthy discussion can happen rather than posting at the last minute when no one will see your input. When you're responding to a discussion, it can help to write everything in a word processing program like Microsoft Word so you can easily check for spelling and grammar errors. This also ensures that if your internet connection is interrupted while you're writing, that your content is saved. Also, you will have access to everything that you wrote, which can be helpful when writing future papers or studying for future exams. Remember to use netiquette and to treat your classmates with respect. To reply to a discussion, click Reply. In this discussion, we are asked to upload a photo to introduce ourselves. You can directly attach a photo by clicking the Images button, and then click Upload Image. Click the big spaceship that says Upload, find your photo, and click Submit. From there, you can resize your photo by clicking and dragging on the corners. When you are ready to submit your reply, click post reply. It's a good idea to adjust your course notifications so you don't miss anything important. To check your notification settings, navigate to Home, then click View Course Notifications. Your announcements will likely be turned on. When you hover over the bell icon, it will tell you how often you are getting notified. To change the notification settings, simply click the icon. For example, if you want to be notified for discussion posts right away rather than daily as a summary, click the icon and change it to Notify Immediately. If you need any assistance with Canvas or have another technical issue, you can access further assistance by clicking the Help icon. This will show you a variety of options. If you're not sure who to contact for your issue, start by asking your instructor. If your instructor is holding live Zoom lectures, it is essential that you attend. 
This is your class time, an opportunity to engage with your instructor. Here you can ask any questions you have about the expectations for the class, assignments, and other course content. If you are worried about forgetting when your Zoom class begins, set an alarm on your phone 15 minutes beforehand. When you are using Zoom, it is recommended that you mute your mic and show your camera to show that you're engaged with what the instructor is saying. Private chats between yourself and other students can be seen by the instructor after the class ends, so keep personal conversations out of the classroom. As a student in a virtual classroom, you are responsible for managing your own time. Your Canvas can remind you about upcoming assignments, but you have to pay attention. It's important that you stay aware of what is due so you can stay ahead of schedule. Many virtual learners say that their success comes from setting aside some time each week to do the work, so you have plenty of time to get your assignments completed. We hope you enjoyed this video. We wish you all the best in your virtual learning experience.